Yep, it's me, Jenny B, and today I am going to play with some Color Street nail polish strips. So my buddy Misty sells them. Check out the link below. Go check out her store. See what Color Street has to offer you. There's wonderful patterns. This is an awesome Halloween design. I loved it. So um, I'm trying them out on the Model 1 full cover tips. So I am very excited to try them. The um, Color Street Polish is um, like 90, 95% dry so it's dry to the touch so there is no waiting time you can stick them on and you're good to go so they're awesome over regular nails as you can tell Boop, making a mess um, as you can tell I have no nails so I'm going to use full cover tips and my Amelie I don't know how to pronounce it if I'm saying it wrong sorry um, the Amelie builder base so I'm doing that again oh, with the tips to adhere them. And I'm going to do a fun design for this week for Halloween. So I love it. There's some stars, moons, a little dark sky pattern. They look pretty cool. So they're dry to the touch. You put them on. So as soon as you, they open from the package, they can dry out. Um, I believe you can kind of reseal it. I have before in the past um, where I just heat up the end with like... Um, a lighter and seal the edge up and they do last one more time but if you wait too long because it was reopened before it may dry out so don't take my word on it but I have done it before and I was able to reuse them but they do dry out so um, when they dry out I'll probably find another way to use them with some poly gel I'm thinking so look forward to that in the future so I'm excited to use these so there is no you know polishing I'm just going to put these over my um, tips when I'm done, and I'm good to go. Easy as that. Thank you, Color Street. So we're going to be doing that today. We got my Model 1's um, full cover tips I got off of Amazon. I will put the link now. Down. We got all those sized out. doesn't take too long. Make sure I have the right amount. One, two, three, four, five. We're good to go. Yep. Woohoo. Hands are ready. So, my nails are ready buffed. The cuticles are pushed back. And I clipped the extra cuticle away. So, we're good. I am going to start with my Car Lash Nail Prep. Dehydrate the nails. So, I'm going to put a little thin layer on each nail because I'm going to do both hands. Nail prep is on. Here's the Carlash Max Bond and this one is in the description below the link to it as well. Everything is off of Amazon. Wonderful Amazon. So convenient right to the door. A little too convenient. I keep shopping. Need to hold back. Cut myself off for a little while. I have enough fun nail stuff to play with anyway, so. <laughs> base coat. So I got the Beatles Foundation base coat that goes on each nail. So I'm going to do the base coat on every nail first. I have my electric file here. I got off of uh, Amazon. What else? So as I said before, the link will be in the description box if you're interested. Um, so I'm put my little sander bit on there and I'm going to just take my nail tip if you can see it can you see it and we are going to sand the bottom pretty much just where it sits on your nail so I'm going to take that turn it on and I'm going to take it and just sand the inside Oop, a little fast slow my speed up doesn't need to be that fast. There we go. And then just etch the inside. You can do this with a nail file, but this is so much easier and so much more thorough. So you just need to go where you're going to put it on your natural nail. So test, let's test it out. There we go. 
We are good. We're rolling along. So now I'm all set. I'm going to start with these hands, my left hands. So I'm going to take, start with my pinky. I'm just going to take the, the nail, take my builder gel in the bottle, and take some, and I'm going to put it straight on the nail. Just need to go where your nail is and put a little extra on the bottom. And then I'm going to put it on and just kind of bring it up. Oop. I'm making a mess. Okay. And then put it under and let it cure. So I let it cure enough just to be on. I'm not done yet. I'll just cure the whole hand all at once, but I let it sit under for like 10 seconds. So I'm doing the same thing. Take the builder gel, paint it on the bottom, a little extra to make sure it fills. This is the tricky part because your hand has to go in with it, otherwise it'll pop off. So I'm just it's on. Oop. Make sure it's straight, because <laughs> that's fun. I'm gonna let it sit for like 10 seconds just to harden enough so I can take it all out. There we go, so it's on there enough for me. Let me clean up. It's on there enough for me to finish that hand and I'm going to put the rest in for 120 seconds. So 10 seconds is enough for it to like just harden. So I'm going to put that on the base a little bit so it puddles up just a tiny bit in that well. Go down a little further. See if I can get a better grip. It's on. It pops off. That's the tricky part is making sure it's on. Okay, there we go. Holding it by the base is the best option. And then let it go for 10 seconds. And then we can take it out for to finish the other two nails. Might as well clean up. Doesn't look like I have any holes. That's good. No bubbles. Do the same thing. Paint where the nail will go. A little bit extra. See if I can get it a little smoother. Put it on. It fills up. Make a mess. You know, that's how I go. Stick it in. About 10 seconds, we're good to go. Perfect. Nice, these are long, so I'll be trimming them up just a smidgen. And put that on, paint the base. A little bit in. Can I do it less messy? Probably not. Make sure that there's no bubbles. Oh, that was a lot smoother. And 10 seconds. Yep, that's enough of a bubble. Let's see. This shouldn't be cured yet. Nope. Oh, it is. That's fine. I'll get that off of the file. So I'm going to stick the whole hand in for 120 seconds. 120 seconds. 
and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, I'm back. They're on. Oh, I like how sturdy it feels. Very nice. Only a little bit out of that one, but I will clean that mud up after. So got my builder gel. We'll do the other hand. I got a crooked one, but I'm going to file them down. I want them shorter anyway. I think I'll do go here and then I'll fix up the coffin shape. So we're going to speed through this. I'm going to trim them up with my um, kiss clippers. They're a lot easier to work with. I got my buffer. So I'm going to buff the top of all of them to get the shine away with this from Amazon. And I have my Beauty Secrets file from Sally's. And obviously it's well loved, but I'm the only one using it. So it can be gross because it's only my nails that I'm using it on. So I'm going to speed through this. So I'll chat with you later. Just alcohol here. Now I'm wiping everything down, getting that dust off on my nails. Hopefully I don't get a bunch of fuzz. But yeah. Ooh, that one's crooked. My fingers are think are crooked, so you know. I always have a fight with that. Okay. I'm just gonna spray my fingers and wipe down. Ah, much easier. So I have my alcohol in the spray bottle. It's so much easier to work with. My handy little nail desk okay I'm just gonna clean up real fast and we'll get to the color street okay I got my color street my nail extensions are on the easy a prey dupe system and I always find one to file like I don't know what's wrong with me like I can't get them ever perfectly straight okay I think that'll work yep they look straight all the little pieces, I can't, I can file all day. Okay, let's just, they are what they are. So I got my little full cover nail tips on with the Builder Gel. Love it. So you can do it with glue, regular tips, any nail extensions work with the Color Street Cuts. It is polish on a strip. Okay, so let's open this. So what does it say on there? Get a brilliant salon quality manicure in minutes with Color Street. 100% real nail polish strips. Easy to apply with no dry time. Just apply and go. And cute little packaging. So this is called Dark Magic. So, oh, oh, here we go. How cute. So it has a little instructions there. Remove clear cover, peel polish strip, tear tab and select N, apply to nail, a gently stretch to fit, and then file off excess. So it has a cute little, oh, that is cute. Look at that. Has a little color street nail file. That's actually a nice little nail file. Look at that, that's pretty cool. Okay, so as a nail file, it has the little prep pad. So we'll use that as well. And it has the nail polish strips. So the nail polish is in this nice sealed thing because it's almost dry. So once you open it and you just let them sit out, they will harden. So just so you know that. So those are beautiful. So I'm going to make a mess, prep my nails. It's a cute little, little strip of pad. Get all the oils and dust off the nails. This is just a fake nail, so... I could have oil that I touched from my fingers, so I'm just going to get a nice good wipe off. There we go, each nail. That's nice. Might as well get the underneath since this pad is lint free, unlike my cotton balls. I should probably invest in lint free wipes, but we'll see, we'll see. I'm sure I can find them on Amazon. <laughs> right? Okay. So I'm going to open this. Is it tear? Nope. <laughs> Clippers. Will that work? Probably not. Oh, yeah. I clipped the end. That was handy. I'll be right back. I need scissors. I am back with scissors. Scissors. Okay. Nice kitchen scissors from the kitchen. I'm going to just clip off the top. It would be nice if I was prepared. You know. So I'm going to open this up. 
gives you a good amount enough for two hands and if you have really short nails you can pretty much have enough for like two manicures possibly if you find a way to um, seal this up a little bit of like heel heat heel this is how I talk a, a little bit you can put it back in there and a little bit of a heat seal there may end up um, getting it so there's no air in there so you can use it one more time possibly so I am going to start seeing what fits let's see I think I'll do the should I do the bigger one you just file off the extra so I think I'll do that let's see yeah the big one so one for each my little nail file so the two thumbs That one for the middle finger. Middle finger, middle finger. If I don't put them in order, I'm gonna have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, that'd be good for that one. Let's see, just picking them out. Ooh, that's pretty with the stars. Dark magic, I like it. So let's see. That looks good for that one. Or do I do that one? We'll do this one. See if that'll work. No. This one. This one. This one. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, that's cute. So the thumb and the index with the ring finger will have the stars and the moon. I like it. So the pinky, that's way too thin. We'll do this. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's get started. Okay, so my little pile of garbage. So there's a plastic film. Let's get that off. Oop. Okay. So it just peels off the back. Like so. And there's a little tab. I think this one has fine this way. So I'm just going to keep the tab on and put it on. It does smell like nail polish. That is so cool. I've used these before. It's been a couple years. Oh, that's cool. So I'm just sliding it on in my camera. There we go. To cover the whole nail. That is so cool. Okay. And I am the, using the edge of my buffer because it's smooth to see if I can smooth out the little wrinkles because it's nice, spongy. And I'm going to get that file. That's a nice little file. Ta-da! Let me just file off the edges. That is cool. I have done these over dip nails last year. I did like them because it's not you don't need top coat or anything. Because look, it's just nice and sparkly. I may put a top coat on anyway, but we'll see. We'll see. You don't need to. They're like done as it is. Look at that. Pretty. Okay. Number two. Clear comes off. You can tell when I'm super focused because I get super quiet. So number two. Index finger. Put it on. Gently smash from bottom to top seems to work best. Let's 
Wenn wir dann wieder. There. Got my little nail polish sticker on. That is very cool. Two on, easy as that. We will keep going. So that's all I'm doing, peeling and sticking, peeling and sticking. So it's on the nice back, so I'm peeling it off. The back is nice silver polish. So I am gonna put that on the middle finger. See if it's all straight. Not stick through my other hand. Perfect fit. That is nice. And they're long enough for, I mean, these are still pretty long. I shortened the nail, but I could have gone a little longer. If you like long nails, you still have room with these. To, so these are pretty long. And you have room with these color street nail strips. This is pretty cool. So there we go. So I'm going to fast forward through the rest so you can watch me apply everything. And I will talk to you in a bit. My nails are on these nail strips are awesome thank you so much Misty for letting me play with the color street nail strips I love this dark magic design that is beautiful it's gonna be great for Halloween week Woo! so happy Halloween everyone get your color street nails but from Misty the link to her shopping is down below you can do it all online um, so go check her out. The Color Street, these are great. They stretch very nicely. So by the time I got to my second hand, I was able to stretch the polish strips up a little bit. So it was a lot smoother to put on. And if I, and if you're like me and you miss part of the nail, I just stuck 
some of my other leftover pieces on the spots where I missed and you can't even tell it looks beautiful especially with this design it doesn't matter they blend right in um, there's completely covered everything I'm gonna make sure everything is nice and smooth and put some nail oil on but I'm gonna be loving my nails for probably the next two weeks because I wanted these to last at least two weeks so between the polish strips and my a prey nail gel nail tip dupe with my builder gel I'm good to go so I got my nails for work for the next two weeks I'm gonna shape up, up this one maybe a little bit more maybe it's just my my fingers crooked so it always looks like it's crooked so thank you so much for joining me thank you my nails look lovely so thank you for coming along for the ride um, have a great Halloween week happy Halloween um, stay safe out there and thank you for joining me so don't forget to thumbs up my video go ahead like it right now subscribe to my channel and I will see you all next time Toodaloo.